special clamps on the wooden part so and we can do? do something like cut so keep it in place while we cut yeah okay look guys look guys i'm i'm gonna move it so you guys can see my hand and this barely can't move it okay muscle can't McGee. actually move no. it just gonna use a jigsaw yeah that's a jigsaw this is actually a fine metal cutting blade because this actually reduces blowout so I'm told and this that's just a F clamp that kind of looks like a screwdriver it does doesn't it right yeah. you're gonna film this yes I of course Stop I am turn in the camera boy get your fingers out of the way of it so my dad's gonna cut it have your ears in. <laughs> Marked out in a brown, a brown marker. Um, and all these other pencil lines, these were just rough. I'm gonna have a try and hack at that now, and that'll be the back quarter done. Okay, stand back. See this line? See this line here? See the brown line? So if you turn this like that, keep it flat, and go along it. Good work man, looking good. Keep the sander flat. Keep the sander flat. A little bit here. That's alright. Don't cross me that, I'll be in your way. Right, is that all the edges smooth? Top man. Oh man. Did you enjoy that? That was. Awesome. And now my mask is going to smell like sketty and meatballs, eh? Of course. Well, pass me here, pass me here. Well, actually, well, because of you too, because you had just had it for dinner, and so did I. We just had the exact same meal. So, that's science. But my dinner's Ooh, not, my dinner is not round my face. <laughs> Aeroplane. Oh, yeah. Well, hope you can see me. Basically, just tell you quickly, achieving this bend radius here and here isn't as straightforward as you think. So I copied off the page what I thought, and it originally came over here somewhere. There is actually a mark you make here and here, 
at 555 five, mil and 637 and you join the two with a diagonal that's where you can set out and sort of position your compass to make your uh, this one's 80 mil radius and this one's 115 mil radius took me a few minutes to work out where I'd gone wrong with my first marks but we got there in the end it's pretty simple I won't be making that mistake again but one more of these to make but what I am going to do is just going to flip it onto another bit of wood and just draw around it uh, this end does need a 14 and a half degree um, angle cut onto it so I have labeled this as left hand side it will get quite confusing when we come to actually do them cuts I'm sure we'll be fine This is the front grille that Grandad smoothed out and then we painted it with one coat of primer. Just to see what it looks like. Yeah. Because of it being plywood, we get lots of imperfections and blowouts with the saw. Mm -hmm. So what Grandad has done, he yeah. went over it with body filler. Yeah. I agree. And now there's hardly any, oh, excuse that, hide the crime. There's hardly any blowouts because he's filled it. Then we've just put a little coat of primer on just to see what it actually looks like. It kind of looks like a blue and then a grey mixed together. That's what the paint looks like. Oh, you're a genius. So we are in the workshop and it is raining. We have counted up our cut panels. We have 14. We have run out of plywood, so this wraps up this video. Until we get more, thanks for watching. Press like and subscribe.